So yeah, we, we got a little bit of a preview of at least this like character matchup from like what you said, uh, Dax versus like uh, Pokefans, Pokefans. Uh, Greninja, but you know, like you said, uh, you know, this Jigrunch is going to be a different breed of Greninja, it's actually his main, and so we're just going to be able to see like uh, how that's going to change things up. And already right off the gate, uh, Jigrunch starting off with a quick, quick 60 damage on Dax. Uh -huh. Um, you know, this is the beginning of the set. Uh, the beginning of the game is where things can go back and forth really fast. Uh, but, you know, it's always good to take, get your turn out as fast as you can so that you can try and solidify a lead so you can build any pressure. Uh, Dax seeming to play, uh, playing pretty cool headed, uh, not letting that initial stuff like get to him. And yeah, uh, even up percent right here. Okay. All right. Uh, a little bit of spaghetti there on that okay. punish. Alright, goes for the upper again. Nice jump. Okay. Even though uh, Dax has low, uh, some higher percent. Oh, you know what? I was going to say, uh, I, I feel like, you know, Wolf has, like, a higher kill potential. Um, but now that he's at 125, it's definitely up there for both of them. The stock could definitely go either way. Uh, I like Dax hanging on to the center stage. Uh, you know, keeping, making sure that like if he gets hit anywhere, he's gonna have to go pretty far distance. And even though that did happen, it was still not far enough to uh, survive dying off the left side. So Jagrun be taking that first stock. And now we have an edge guard situation. Let's see what Dax can do with it. Uh, kind of misses on the back air. Uh, had the right idea though. You know, read, read and react to the jump and stuff. And now yeah. this is where Jagrun's gonna try and build some extra percentage. Uh, really solidify that lead uh, if slash when he loses his next his first stock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with Dax, it's just advantage to be really woo! tough as well. What a great nice like uh, empty landing from the platform just to do the up tilt. Uh, and you know, just like Jay Grant thought he was gonna like try and go for some sort of cross up and just like read him, but nope. And now, you know, like, this is kind of like a replay of the first stock where uh, Jigren, like, started off with a pretty a, a pretty solid, like, percentage uh, lead. And then it was up to Dax to kind of even that out. All right. Let's see here. Ooh, <laughs> that, was, that was a fun laser. Just stuff that that there. Yeah. All right. Let's, ooh. I like the attempt there, going for like the nair being like, press the wrong button, dumbass, you're gonna hit by, get hit by this uh, down smash. But Dax not falling <laughs> for it, holding out and jumping away. Uh, now a potential edge guard situation. Oh, I feel like Jake Run may have just like kind of slipped on his inputs there. Just kind of let him land right in front of him and just stood there. Nothing happened. It happens occasionally. Nice little uh, dash back forward smash. Uh, gonna take the next stock. Jake Run has been taking these stocks. Uh, been taking the stocks first, so like in terms of like all the progression, uh, Dax has been having to play catch up the entire time. You know, every time he does catch up, uh, Jay Grant, you know, just puts another uh, few miles ahead of him. Yes, certainly. And I think just catching these landings from that it? part is really no. good. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Jeez, Jeez Louise, this whole damage. Yeah, I like the attempt with the hydro pump. Seems like every time Dax wants to land, he gets his fair share of damage. Every time Jake Rutt tri tries to land, he's usually able to mix it up. Yeah. You know? It seems like he's having an easier time getting back to stage. Ugh. Okay. Alright, gonna get the two frame with the F tilt. And now Dax, uh, this is the largest comeback that he's gonna have to make. Uh, you know, he evens up the stocks and then has to make back a, a percent deficit, but this time this lead is pretty... Th this percent lead is not like the others. This one's a lot harder, and he really has his work cut out for him. Uh, you know, as long as uh, Jagrun is able to stay calm and just let the kill happen and let it just come to him, then he should be in a good position. But Dax is actually tacking on quite a lot of percentage, stringing a lot of stuff together. And now we're in a scary situation because, like, Dax is already past the point of, like, he'll just die. Right? So, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Jagrun is now at a, at a really bad position. Uh, it can go either way. And right now, Dax has advantage with the state, with ledge control, but uh, loses it. Jagrun able to defuse it. Goes for center. Uh, not the best Bro. space forward air. 
I like that he stayed on that ledge. It kind of diffused like everything that he was going to go for. <gasps> he got he read the normal getup and went for the grab, but timed it a little bit too late. Oh, this oh, is scary! Oh my God! Oh. Why did Bulga not Oh, all right. Tried to read the jump and went with the up air, and that back air. Wow, what a turnaround! Oh. That was nice. Yeah, once you're out of those like low setup percent, you really take advantage of rage and just get those, get those nice hits, get those nice combos. Man, because ultimately your combos are going to produce more and more hits done as you reach more and more rage. Oh and so when you're out of that kill percent, or I'm sorry, you're out of that kill setup percent. Look at this. He jumped. Really take advantage of that. He combat. jumped first. Wolf jumped first. Ready? You see this? Ah, oh, jeez. Like, jumps first and then jumps right into it. Unfortunate. Yeah. Alright, so game two, uh, just running it right back to PS2. Um, I, I mean, kind of understandable. Uh, Jay Grant was in the lead pr the, pretty much the entire set. Uh, it was really until the very end when Dex had the most work cut out for him that he actually really stepped up and uh, got through it all. So I can understand Jager just trying to run it back here and just be like, okay, look, um, there was what I was doing before uh, was definitely not wrong. I just need to tie up a few ends, uh, polish some few things, and we should be good, you know, just like stick to that. But with all that said, Dax is the one now starting with the percent lead. So you can tell that the the adaptation that he made from that from that last stock and just playing catch up the whole time. Uh, is kind of some uh, has amounted to this and just reading uh, that he was just gonna like go for the platform and tapping him with the up smash through the platform and now Jagrun's in a pretty bad position. Dax still had really low percentage on his first stock. He's gonna have to make something happen. Ooh. Nice walling out the ledge. Ooh, okay. Uh, he had the right idea there. It just didn't work out. Um, even percentages, but we still got that, that stock uh, difference. Unfortunate falling out of the up smash. Ooh, oh my god, I like that read with the down smash also missed up. Man, everyone's, for, uh, everyone's smash attacks are just not working when they want to just seal out that stock. Thank you, Ultimate. <laughs> All right. Okay, is that going to be enough? It finally is. Jagron's going to finally get one on the board for this game two here. Uh, could it be too little too late? Honestly, like we saw Dax able to make a major comeback from a crazy uh, percent deficit. We probably can see Jagron do the same. So, you know, th that's yes, the thing. It's, it's, when you're at a super high percent, it really puts you in a different mindset to like play very surgical, very like precise. And, you know, it, when you play like mobile characters, you. That's kind of the skill set that you kind of already go for. Unfortunately, uh, Jagron wasn't able to try and put on more uh, work into that last stock before losing it. Uh, again, we're kind of just seeing a repeat of like the type of lead where it's like a low-ish mid percent uh, uh, with uh, with the stock lead for Dax. Oh God, this is not looking good. Jeez. Bro, Dax, what the hell happened? <laughs> My man was like seven, seven. You know, I'm guaranteed top three this this week. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> There's some pretty good competition as well. Yeah. All right. I really like that that whole situation kind of just really slowed down. They're just like kind of waiting for the opening. Jager really not trying to like overextend. Finally going to find a down tilt into up smash. Great job. Now in a, basically the exact same scenario we saw at the end of game one where you come back with, uh, you, you have to, you have to come, you have to make it through an entire stock while being at already triple digit percentages. So uh, what can Jager do? Uh, that da like Dax did in game one. You know, I, I feel like this might be a little bit harder for Greninja because, like, you know, while Wolf is slower, he's he's kind of like a a, a denser ball of death. You know, hmm. 
You know, yeah. like he, he can he can more likely kill you by accident. You know, it's funny that the non Pokemon in this matchup is has has access to critical hits. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I think Dax can just safely put out an F tilt to get the kill. Yeah. Right, yeah, Jigarin trying to, you know, he's looking to, like, force him to whiff those moves, but, like, every time when he goes for it, he, like, Dax is definitely throwing them out in the safest ways he can uh, for those iterations, those uh, interactions. You know, and uh, Jigarin just couldn't find the opening. Like, he was, he was making openings happen, but like, see, like right there. Let, let, let's let's look at that again. Like, he made him. He like he baited him to go for that, right? But mm -hmm. then he just kind of like didn't react fast enough. That like he wasn't sure of himself that his opponent was going to like actually do something. So he wasn't like able to go for that punish. And you know, it was just one thing after another, and uh, he just couldn't find that opening. So now Dax with a 2-0 lead in this winners finals. Uh, Jagron, oh my god, I I don't know how this is going to work out, but Jagron has elected huh? to go Incineroar. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, Three, two, Back to PS2. One, um, with Incineroar, I see. I've actually never seen this before. Yeah, no, I, I've seen Jagrun Samus. I've not seen Incin before, but, you know, uh, may, maybe it's just, you know, the classic matchup, cats versus dogs, and uh, this is a real beefy cat. So, see what happens. Um, you know, right now, Jagrun actually doing really good, already building uh, a, a nice, cool 90 damage. Uh, on him now, Dax kind of trying to close the gap here. Definitely kind of struggling. Um, Alright, so Jagron able to take the first stock and, and 90 damage. Like Incineroar's, you know, he he's he's a chunky boy, so he's gonna need a little <laughs> bit more damage to like try uh before he's gonna lose that stock. You know, Wolf definitely can do it at this percent. Just like that. Like he's that definitely strong read. enough. <laughs> Great like roll read, really. Wow. Ooh, nice back here. Oh my god. Kind of doing the wolf special back. Yeah, I was gonna say Bear. He's, he's like giving him a taste of his own medicine. Oh my god! Actually, yeah, landing right. the up smash, and then you know, Insin does his little like cheeky little auto taunt from it. That's great. But now we have a perfect stock lead for uh, Jagrun right now. Um, Burst option does 21 percent. Jeez. <sighs> it is really funny. Is Incineroar from Greninja the switch that was needed? Like. Switch out one Pokemon for another. Yeah. Watered fire. I wonder how many badges Jagron has. Um. Ooh. Oh my God. This is so good. Yes. These. These. I know, it's like looking like you can all reset. eat badges with this gameplay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You remember that move never stops hitting. It's pretty counterintuitive to like how what things hit your shield, how they act in Smash, because once once they block it, you know the hitbox goes away. Not Incineroar's, it just keeps keeps uh, showing up. Uh uh uh. Wow. Oh, yeah. All right, jeez. That was like that was a. Uh, out of nowhere, at least for me. I'm not like super used to like what Incineroar can do, but damn, that was really funny looking. That was crazy. It was like up throw. He just, oh, my God, what a great empty hop. Let's get out of here. God, those Incineroar taunts, and yeah, and and with a two stock, uh, no less, you know. So, you know, while the the previous games were you know very competitive, really down to the wire, uh, Dax was able to figure some uh, stuff out versus the Greninja, and really just like. 
really make sure that he was going to be in a good position the entire time. But this Incineroar pick, oh my. Uh, so let's see. It's sticking to the Incin. And yeah, we're just having like an all PS2 fight so far. Will we see game? Will we see a game five? Uh, already getting like a what is it? Revenge on the from absorbing the the blaster. Oh my! So much damage already. Just 15 seconds into the game. Oh, uh, but Dax gonna return in kind the exact like just as hard. Get out of here! <laughs> Tried to punish the landing from the up B, uh, but got hit by the explosion. Nice. He had the right idea, but did the down smash again a little bit too early. He keeps going for these like these great setups that could net him a, like the literal stock, but uh, a little bit too antsy doing it too slow. It's uh, too early. Uh, it's kind of hard to get that, especially online. But again, Jay yeah. can be taking the first stock with a grab uh, back throw off the left side. Uh oh. I love this. Oh my god, these uh these fox trots just not committing to movement and just like I know you're gonna air dodge like a pussy. <laughs> it's just like I'm the cat here, man. Damn, okay. I don't know if that was a pun, but okay. <laughs> was that a pun? Yes. Jesus Christ. Alright. Yeah, he's just living, dude. He's not dying. Yeah. Uh, you Once know. again, with that burst off. Yeah. Uh, and like, oh, okay, finally going to be taking uh, Jay Grunt's first stock. Um, <laughs> see what he can do. Again, Dax's work is cut out for him if he wants to try and bring back this, uh, even it up. Right. So what we can do with this edge guard? That's probably it. Yeah, he's just gonna teleport right from his arms into the blast zone. So it's a little bit of an edge guard going on here. Oh god, man. Okay. All right. We've seen this situation before, albeit with a different character, but you know, 100 damage and you got to make back an entire stock uh, to make it out. We saw this game one. Uh, from Dax, and it looks like he's kind of getting a little bit of a repeat here. Uh, you know, as long as Jagron's able to keep calm and just, you know, make sure he doesn't do anything a little bit too reckless. But right I like now, the little approach around the platform. Stay safe. Uh oh, Dax kind of uh, in control right now. This edge guard has not stopped for like the past minute. Like, look at this, Jagron finally gonna like. Uh, Relinquish all that that pressure that Dax is putting on him, and oh man! If he gets a grab, it'll be it. Is oh Jesus! Ooh. Oh, that's not it! Oh! Oh! Okay, any throw right here is death. Throw, command throw. Oh, and it run off back air no. of the platform. He said no. I'm gonna hit you with your own medicine. Yeah, yeah, more more wolf plays uh, by the cat. Um, all right, so we're actually going to be seeing a game five. Uh, are we really going to see a reverse 3-0 with Incineroar? It was like, yeah, uh, Greninja wasn't working, so I, I took out the Incineroar. It's like, ah, yes, I see. That uh, totally expected. Very meta. Are they running it back? Yeah, they're just going right back into oh, wow. it. So yeah, game five, we're gonna see Jay Grunt's Incineroar versus Dax's Wolf. Three, two, one, go! And you can already tell like Dax is kinda like taking it a little bit uh, slower. He's just like, maybe I should fight the slow character from a distance. I got a crazy ass blaster. 
Alright. Ooh. Nice damage. And, you know, just grabbing in place, like, two times. Boom. So far, so the, the pretty standard low percent stuff, but now Dex turning that standard stuff into a pretty solid edge guard right now. Already dealing over 125% while only taking less than 50. Uh, nice. I All like right. that. Just dashed away to cover the roll, but then just ran back to grab it. Oh my god, this edge guard isn't ending. Oh no. Goodbye. Unfortunate. I, I think he meant to back off, jump, and do the command grab, but the jump didn't come out. And that's going to put him in a really bad situation. Because now, Dax is only taking 66%. I think the surprise factor for the Incineroar has kind of worn off. You know, let's see what, what else Jagrun's got in the tank with this character. But right now, it's looking really good for Dax. And with uh, that unfortunate, like, kind of misinput SD, uh, Dax is in a super good position. But, oh, what are you doing? Wait, that right. worked. Yeah. Was it supposed to? Yeah, that, that's, a, that's the thing. So, like, you, you intentionally don't go for the hit so that it just kind of drops them, and it, and it just is a really scary situation. And so, like that, Jagron was able to even up the stocks while not being too far behind in the percentages. Alright, Dax needs to chill out. He's just pushing forward a little bit too much. He's killing it. Alright, now. Yeah, see, he dashed forward into that first option. Didn't need to. Yeah, now we got some dead even percents here. But, you know, we, we saw right, a lot of ledge. percent came from that ledge play from Dax. But this time, uh, Jake went able to defuse that pretty quickly. Oh, God. Again, let's see the ledge play. Go down tilt, ledge trap. Okay. Nice. nice. Ooh, he just Oof. snuck that in nice there. He, he like, he just like, his toes clean off. All right, so, you know, Dak's gonna have to try and work on a lead here. He's gonna get some, have to get some percent on, percentage on before uh, Jake Run is able to take the stock, if he is able to. Up oh, and here it comes. He tried going for the F tilt, didn't work out. Yeah, that I mean, he was just trying to see, like, oh, do you want to die right here? And uh, Dax actually said, just quite, very quite politely, uh, no thank you. All right. Last stock, <laughs> game five. Yeah, and uh, pretty even percentages. 50 damage, not that big a deal. Uh, it's really just going to depend on who gets this next turn. Nice, nice. Gets grab. Nice quarter. Weird roll. Gets the grab. Boom. Okay. Dax is going to pull ahead just a little bit and constantly in the, the advantageous position of the of the edge guard. Oh boy. Alright, it's beginning to snowball. Uh oh. Boom. Wow, jeez. Oh, the tech chase. You went for the roll read that would have finished it right then and there. And honestly, you can definitely go for stuff like that when you're at 30. You're just like, what are you going to do? And he didn't even get punished for it. Well worth going for it. And going to catch the jump with the back air. Dax moving on to winner's side grand. 3-2. Uh, two wins on Greninja and three wins on, who would have guessed it, Incineroar. Wow. What a what a weird set. Very competitive. It was really good. I, I like how much it was back and forth. It just the Insin pick, I just didn't I didn't expect it. That was such an unfortunate for uh, way to start that last game. It was just like, yeah, it's, it's like I can do this, I can do this, then you know, uh, let's go go away in my stock. But you know, it was able to bring it back right there. Um Yeah, very back and forth. Good stuff. Oh shit, Helper's in here? Helper is just listening. And in case he needs mm -hmm. to tell us any TO things.